slasher film, a go-to scary classic, kind of. It's a different kind of horror when the horror comes from other people, people who are a bit stabby. Might not spook you out like ghosts do, but will probably make you look over your shoulder while walking home alone at night. The film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released in 1974. If you've not seen it before, basically there's this mad lad with a terrifying face and he's got a cannibalistic family and they basically just all kick off. Oh, and they try and eat a bunch of young friends. It's pretty grim, even by today's standards. 1974 was a whole three years before Atari's flagship home console was released. But all the same, someone apparently thought the film was still relevant enough to make into a video game. And not even when the Atari 2600 was new. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game was not released until 1983, nine years after the film was released. This was an unofficial Atari game technically, as Atari had just lost a lawsuit which would have stopped third party publishers from making games for their 2600 console. It was created by motion picture distribution company Wizard Video, who were also responsible for the Halloween game on the same console. Oh I see, it's a chainsaw! Well what did you think it was? All you need to do in this game is run after these women and tear them to bits with your chainsaw. You get a thousand points every time you grind them into a mush, then at five thousand points you will get more petrol for your chainsaw. When you run out of petrol, you lose a life. The beep that you hear when the women are on the screen is supposedly the sound of them screaming. When they're ground up by the chainsaw, they turn into, uh, hourglasses? No, I know that's supposed to be pools of blood and bits of body, but I mean, come on. And that's it really, wander around, find the women, chase them, kill them. Also you have to avoid a load of really random objects that someone's been fly tipping in this field. And Asbo isn't enough for them. That sound that's going the whole time is meant to be the chainsaw running. It does sound a fair bit like what it's supposed to, to be fair. When you press the single button on your joystick, the chainsaw revs up. You have to have the chainsaw revved up to cut the victims. The thing is, the spluttering sound of the chainsaw does get annoying quite quickly, after you've got over the fact that it is initially quite a cool touch. When you approach the victims though, they suddenly learn the skill of teleporting and will flash on either side of you. This makes it a bit harder than just ramming your great big chainsaw into them. God damn, stay still so I can murder you! <sighs> Look, I really hate being so needlessly crass, but no matter how you look at it, it does look like he's wielding a lumpy penis. It really does. If the chainsaw bit was a different colour, well then fine. But right now, it looks like he's pitching a tent in his jumpsuit. Granted, if this was a real life situation, it would be utterly terrifying. But in a game that's supposed to be a horror game, it's just comical to see what is supposed to be a horrifying, cannibalistic character going around with a petrol-powered love length. Hmm. Maybe this would play a little better if there was some heavy metal music in the background or something. I can help with that! Ah! Where the bloody hell did you come from? It's a cutaway shot. It's a standard technique used by collaborators when they can't be in the same room at the same time. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. I wrote the script. Okay, I'll play something heavy on the guitar here. Uh, help you play the game. Might make it a bit better. Something Texas Chainsaw-y? Uh, yeah. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Look at my chainsaw. Check out my chainsaw. Look at my chainsaw. Chainsaw. Look at my chainsaw. Check out my chainsaw. Look at my chainsaw. I'm sorry, this isn't working. I just, I can't get over how phallic his chainsaw looks. What do you want about? Oh yeah, it does a bit. What are you doing? 
Just in the mood. Oh, bugger off. Leatherface on the whole looks a bit underwhelming. There's nothing about this screen that looks good, to be fair, but he in particular looks like a short, overweight, middle-aged man with a beer belly. This could just as easily be Jim from the local who's gone a bit stabby. His eye and ear apparently just been holes in his head are a bit of a strong look too. This has got to be the most underwhelming serial killer ever. There are things in this field which will serve as obstacles. Fences, patches of hay and, inexplicably, wheelchairs. If you come within a pixel's breadth of them, Leatherface will get stuck. And every time you get stuck, you need to wait a few moments until whatever it is you're stuck on inexplicably disappears. If you get stuck on hay specifically, then you need to use your chainsaw, or else you'll be stuck on it forever. It is a nightmare, incredibly frustrating and just nonsensical. I mean, for God's sake, it's a wheelchair, push it out of the way. Or maybe sell it for scrap metal and pay for some sort of reconstructive surgery for whatever the hell is literally going on with your hollow skull. I wonder if he keeps his spare change in it. Another thing that will piss you off is that the perspective is just so utterly broken. Never mind the fact that Leatherface can't walk past anything on the top plane of the play area without getting stuck on it. But look at this adorable little house in the background. It's so small. But then look at that Godzilla's slipper parked right next to it. Who has a truck the size of their house? I mean, I'd say maybe Leatherface is trying to compensate for something, but we can see he doesn't have any problems there. And then the trees are monumentally huge. At first glance, I thought I was looking at a forest in which someone had left their doll's house and Tonka truck. When you lose, which you absolutely will do and probably quite quickly, a small child comes along and kicks you up the arse. Not exactly a dignified end to what is meant to be a scary character. Oh, wow. That was awful. This game stirred up controversy at the time because video games were still known for being for kids only. A game for adults wasn't well received by most shops, who refused to sell it on the grounds of it being too violent. Which is really quite hilarious when you look back at that slapstick death screen. It being a game where you play the killer who just goes around murdering people for no reason led to it being sold only behind the counter and even then mostly just at sex shops. As a result, it is an incredibly rare game. If you want to own this horrifying trash, you will need to cough up a lot of money. Well, I am never playing that again. Leatherface isn't going to appear at my doorway? With his petrol powered love length? Oh. Oh. Not that I'm disappointed or anything. All right, you'll do. Come on. Um, am I still needed? Horace! No, bugger off! Fine! Do 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 